So we made some changes to the BIOS in our HP Z820. And now we're going to boot it up. But then we're getting a, an error code here. We're getting six beeps and six LED blinks. So that means something we changed in the BIOS messed up the BIOS. So now we need to clear the CMOS and that's what we're going to do in this video. Before you start, make sure your computer is powered off and you unplug it from the wall. And on the other side of the cover, you will see diagrams of where that clear CMOS button is. So take a good look at that. You can also look at the uh, you know, manual, the PDF instructions and whatnot. And then we need to remove this over here. And now we can see inside the unit. Now, in my case, I'm getting six beeps and six LED lights. That means that uh, the setting I changed that is causing the problem uh, is that this video card here does not boot into EFI because I changed it from legacy to EFI in the BIOS. But uh, this here video will suffice for no matter what you change and you need to clear the BIOS, need to, to clear the CMOS, this will be the same exact thing. So there are, of course, a couple ways that you can clear the BIOS or the CMOS. You can, of course, just remove the battery. But there's also a button in here that you can push. And, of course, the computer is completely unplugged before we uh, uh, did any of this. So make sure your computer is unplugged from the outlet. So right here we can see the battery. We can always remove that. That will do basically the same thing. But as you can see right over here is a button. You can see the uh, full computer just so you can get an idea of where uh, exactly that button is. So it's right there, right there. So we'll just push that button, reach in there, and that should clear the BIOS. It's going to completely erase any settings that we had, so we'll have to redo all of those. But now we can go ahead and button this machine back up. I'll put the uh, covers back on, and then we should be able to boot back into our BIOS. Go ahead and power this unit on, and now it should start up because we cleared out that CMOS. All right, so if you have this problem, again, no matter what the beep code is, then you want to clear that out because you made some changes in the BIOS, and now it's not starting up. Unbutton the uh, hatch there, press that button, and go back in there and maybe try some different BIOS settings. And you can see it right there in the monitor in the background. So of course I can press the escape key that will take me back into my BIOS and I can go ahead and try some new settings. 